Take a listen to this piece. This is Mozart piano sign D major, Kershaw 284, the third movement. Now this is a theme and variations movement, and it's a very uh, popular tune. Yum bum bum, di da 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 di da 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 di da da da. And a lot of people know it, so I, I hope you do. And that this is familiar ground. We're going to go through some examples here of binary form. This is binary in an obvious way. Visually you see those repeat signs and automatically then you know that there are two repeats. Two reprise form in other words. And two reprise form is one way that a piece can be binary or two part. Okay so here's part one. It ends, and I'm going to put a label on this one just so that we connect up with our terminology here. Section one ends right here and I want to know whether this ends on tonic or not. Because if it ends on the tonic chord in the home key it's sectional. And that word sectional makes a lot of sense because that means it's really closed and could really serve as its own little thing all unto itself. It's its own section. Okay, so is this sectional? Well, let's look at the key. We're in D major. Mm -hmm, and there's our tonic. Okay, there's a cadence, half cadence. All right, so you can see that we've moved to A here. See the treble clef. A, we're, we're really establishing D major clearly. Now we get to here, and we've landed on A, but see the leading tone? And it's not just one, there's more here, and another there. So lots of G sharps. Now, when you see a sharp, a raised note is probably a leading tone. And if it keeps going for that long, it means we've modulated. We're not just tonicizing something briefly, say with a secondary dominant book. We're, we're really moving and making, in this case, A, G sharp is leading tone to A. We're making A our new key center. All right, and there's our cadence too. So, 5 1 in the key of A, and okay, there's our A up top as well. So, that's a perfect authentic cadence in A. We're not on the tonic chord, we're on a tonic, the tonic in the dominant, but it's not the tonic in the home key. This is not sectional it's continuous. So this is a continuous binary. We've taken a term now from the harmonic category, harmonic structure. Now we need to get the other term which has to do with thematic or melodic content. I hope you take a listen to it or just hear it in your head as you go through, but here's a, another statement of that that opening. So we've got a couple phrases. Uh, it's a little different though. See how this one went up and this one comes down? But get, get to know the opening in particular. You want to know how it ends here? Okay, now we're ready to compare this material, the material of section two, and see how its melodies compare to the opening. We're really looking for a, a return of the opening. Yum, bum, bum, this idea somewhere. And there it is. Okay, so we've got this whole idea coming back there. Now, you can also compare the ends of these two, and they're quite the same. So, if the ends match, they're balanced. Should we call this balance then? Well, it's tempting, but remember that rounded trumps balance. So, when we hear the return of the opening partway through section two, it is rounded. Yes, it's balanced, but we'll say rounded because rounded trumps balance. The big news is that you've got some departure in here. Where you move away, yes, you use some old motives. I'm sure we could we could find some patterns that come back like this idea. See how it's sequenced? There is some sequential motion. See if you can identify that sequence. Look at the root motion there and how you're moving overall. This pattern that melodically is being sequenced derives from this. So it's not new material, but the sequence casts it in a new light. This is more developmental. It's a digression. And then here the texture changes completely. See how they're running in parallel with one another? And this too you could say, ah oh yeah, I've heard those little run things. He's just going wild with them now and sequencing it down. Then he gets ready for a cadence. He's, he just has begun to modulate 
Let's see, where's that kick him out? So I, I can hear that in D. Okay, that, that works. He's back in his main key, though. And this sounds, then, as a secondary dominant here. Yeah, okay. And tonicizing A. All right, so here is some sequencing, some more sequencing with a real change in, in texture. And then he comes to a half cadence and sets up that return, making it rounded. Now, it's really, what I'm focusing in here on is before the return, what kind of contrast happens? And we've seen that sequence plays a role. Some tonicization is, is present here. There's a, there are some chromaticism, and those chromaticisms help move you away from your home, home ground. And then finally, the, the digression ends on the dominant, which is a big deal because that dominant sets up the D major that's going to come up here. It makes a, a really dramatic moment. Notice how, I want to show you how pacing also plays a role here. You've got one, two, three, four measures for the first phrase. Start it again. You've got a parallel period. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three, four. So there are all these four bar phrases, but look at the extra space he's got here. He could have jumped in right on the heels of this. Da, da. He could have just compressed that just a hair and left room to do this in that same measure. But instead he stretches that out, makes you wait three and a half beats where there's just there's really there's nothing going on for this last beat and these two. You're just you're just waiting, it's a dead air. But it, it leaves you hanging and dramatizes this return because it makes you want it. You're saying, okay, what's next? You know, there's this, there's this gap. And as you wait, anticipation builds for something significant. And then Forte, it was piano before, Forte, he comes in with the theme. That's a dramatic moment that's rounded. Okay, a quick overview now of what we've seen. We want to know about form, not just the labels, but we want to know how does it work. And the way this works is we set up some ideas. He's already got some contrast built in, it's true. But his main material presented in a section that modulates to five. There's some contrast harmonically. Then here, he cuts loose by doing some sequencing. It's a chromatic sequence, so there are some accidentals that pulls you away a little bit. More sequencing with a change of texture. Motion to the dominant. A big weight, almost a grand pause. And then we're back at it with a return. So that, getting your, your ear around how the, the form makes it dramatic. It makes the pattern of departure and return dr dramatic is really the, the main thing I want you to be able to appreciate about little things like this. Now this is kind of a trite little tune and that's kind of the point because you pick a really simple theme and then you go wild with it. You show your skill as a composer. So these are nuances. These are small things. Uh, later he gets to go wild in the, in the larger context of this piece. But this is a basic building block for that larger set of variations that makes this movement Binary form is really important here in, in, a, in a variation set and all over the all over the place. Okay, so now th that's the significance of it in my mind. Let me talk now a little bit about just the terms to review those. It's binary because you've got a PAC here and you've got a PAC there. It's also binary because you've got two reprises. Uh, so binary, we've got that down. How about melodic structure? The opening returns midway through section two. That makes it rounded. We look at the end of section one to determine is it um, is it sectional or is it continuous? The harmonic aspect. It's continuous because this is A and a PAC on A, not a PAC in D. This is not the tonic triad in the home key. Okay, so the full label would be rounded, continuous, binary because of the two chunks. Okay, let's look at another one.